And, and I'd be interested, what is your pitch to people unfamiliar with democratic education? Do you have a particular way of talking about it and framing it? Yeah, so, and, and I actually, going through this process right now and building these relationships with people in the city, the planning department and all of that, and I really, I talk about it being a very individualized, bespoke, boutique kind of school. If I'm not trying to sell, I'm not trying to talk to a parent into enrolling, right? So that's a different right. conversation. Yeah, but just trying to explain, you know, that it's, we're, we're a school, you know, a lot of kids who maybe they, they would would struggle in a conventional school and they have their own unique way of doing things and their own path and we want to support everyone every kid's path I might provide them examples of things that our kids like to do that sound very impressive <laughs> those of us in, in this world are like I don't whatever if you go into video game design or go to MIT I don't care like whatever it's cool but we're gonna tell we're gonna put those like impressive stories but yeah I really kind of lean on the support for the individual child and that we mm -hmm. and so that means we don't have a kind of a traditional school space it's much more like a large home where you might find a number of different or different kinds of the other thing would be like different studio kinds of spaces. Maybe mm. this is this is the art studio space and the music studio and the science space. And we have these different kinds of spaces because and, and, and students can take advantage of any of these kinds of things because we are crafting an individual educational experience for them. And so that's kind of where I go <laughs> for, right on. for for those um, kind of city officials and they and people get really inspired. And This is the Agentic Schools Podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg. <laughs>